Hey everybody, it's Dave at DraftBit, and we've got some cool stuff to show you, so let's check it out. Um, up here above the device preview, we've added a device switcher, so now you can go between several different iPhone models and pixel model dimensions. That way you can uh, better get an idea of how your app is going to look on different dimensions of uh, common devices. And next to that, we've added a landscape uh, and portrait mode switcher. So now you can change the orientation of the preview. And finally, we've added a little scale utility so you can scale the whole device preview up or down. Um, and that's handy in case you're like using DraftBit on a smaller laptop or something like that. And you wanna make sure that you get this whole preview uh, on your screen. Okay, next up is we've added some breakpoints. So over here on the right side, uh, the top of the right panel, we've added not only mobile like we had originally, but now we have tablet that we can switch to. And again, here in the device switcher, we've got a couple different devices we can choose between and go landscape and portrait here as well. Um, and then after tablet, we've got laptop and desktop and even big screen so what's really cool about this though is now that we have these breakpoints we can actually style our components based on these breakpoints so let me show you what i mean on this text screen i've got three different pieces of text here and in my uh in mobile breakpoint i'll show you the styles here for this top heading component so i've got um, uh, an inline style here set on the mobile breakpoint for my uh, font and same for the font size and then I have a color on this uh, text component that's being inherited from the style sheet and then as I go up from here let me switch to device or web preview as I go up from here to tablet you can see that the font size is actually increased from the mobile breakpoint. So it goes up to 24 here. And then if I go up to laptop, you can see it's gone up to 32 points and desktop now at 40 points. So what this means is for each one of these breakpoints, I have customized what the font size is going to be. And then that way I can really dial in my style my design my layout to be just like I want it depending on uh, what kind of breakpoint what size device uh, your app is actually being used on so I can show you again here real quick with flex and you can see uh, I'll pick the center one so as I switch up and down these breakpoints you can see I have different flex settings set on these three different colored blocks depending on what breakpoint I'm at so you can see there's a lot of flexibility now with how you can adapt your design your layout your styles depending on what kind of device your app is being viewed on and then finally we added some system variables that you can use in like for instance conditional display here I've got two different lists one list is set to be a single column and that's only going to show if I'm on a tablet or larger. I've got tablet or larger breakpoint selected here. Um, and I've got one, or I'm sorry, uh, the mobile list is going to show if it's not tablet or larger. And tablet up list is going to show if it is tablet or larger. So I can show you here uh, in the mobile breakpoint, we've got a single column. And then as I move up to tablet, and anything larger than a tablet, I'm going to keep that two column layout. So this is great for any time you want to uh, conditionally display something based on the, um, the breakpoint or if you've got other logic that you want to do uh, depending on the breakpoint. One thing I want to note just here before we go is um, some of these config uh, props that we have on different components which are style related are soon going to be moved over into the styles panel. So in not too long, you won't actually have to do something like this to conditionally render two different lists. This column prop 
will be moved over um, into the style panel as well as like something like a refresh color. So any of the style related or layout related props and configs are going to be moved over to styles and soon they will be you'll also be able to conditionally um, set those depending on the breakpoint as well without having to use the system variable. All right, so that basically covers everything. Let us know what you think, and uh, we've got other stuff coming up soon, so stay tuned for that.